Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Uh, we're in a little bit of a noisy place. I'm going to talk loud uh, so you can understand. You might recognize where we are. We are uh, at the Somerville Medical Clinic and we're on the road. I chose to be here not because of the sign, but uh, I didn't want to be in one of the main entrances because of uh, privacy reasons for people who are coming and going since we're on social media. But uh, this ER sign is on the road. I guess you hear the construction behind me. And uh, it's okay to be a little noisy. It means that good things are going on here at Somerville Medical. Before I start my, uh, well, as a part of my encouragement this morning, I want to share with you some congregational care. Over the weekend, Linda Carter was diagnosed with COVID-19. And since then, she's been in the Medical University of South Carolina. But the good news is I had conversations with Gary last night and Gary anticipates that she is recovering so well that she should be able to come home this weekend. So keep Gary and Linda in your prayers. Henry Thompson suggests maybe we want to go somewhere like this to pray for our medical people. And I thought that was a wonderful uh, suggestion on Henry's part. Now, if you look in Matthew 8, beginning with verse 14, you'll find one of a series of seven miracles that Jesus talks about beginning in Matthew 8. Matthew uses this to introduce Jesus as the great healer. And in this miracle, Jesus goes to Peter's house. They go there for a time of reflection and rest and spend the night. And when he arrives, Peter... Peter's mother-in-law is ill, so Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law. I guess the word got out, and so there others begin to come. So late in the night, Jesus touched and healed people and cast out demons. I, I guess you could call it one of the first medical clinics uh, that that we we have. And then at the end of that story, it, it says that. He did this to fulfill the prophecy that is found in Isaiah. It says he took away their infirmities and he bore their disease. Now when it says he bore their disease, it's not talking about that, that Jesus literally took their disease on himself. It meant he made their disease go away. So it establishes Jesus as the great healer. But God too has made us the hands and the feet and the heart of Jesus. And I come here this day to give thanksgiving and to pray for our health care workers and our medical workers here at Somerville Medical, uh, anywhere they might be. They're always important to us. God bless them with intelligence and wisdom to do the things they do to help us, but more than that, God has blessed them with hearts of care and love and compassion. I was here a few months ago, had a knee replacement, and I can tell you that those that I met, those that came into my room, whatever they were doing, they had so much care and love and compassion. And it takes a special person uh, to be a health care worker and share their lives with other people. I, I want to say, too, that, that if this pandemic is really a war as we are describing it. These people, these health care workers, these medical personnel, they are on the front lines. They are the ones that, that are doing the research, trying to find a cure and a vaccine. They're the ones that come to work each day, like in this ER and in this hospital and in offices and in emergency settings and other so many places. They are the ones who are putting literally their lives and their safeties online for each of us. They are the extension of Christ's healing in our community and in our lives. And today I thank God for them. And I thank God for what they do. And every day I pray for their safety. They are special people always, but especially during this time. I want to say thank you to our, to 
there are healthcare workers everywhere, our medical personnel everywhere, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for your hearts of compassion and warmth and care that you give to our people. Now at this time, let's, let's say a prayer. And let's say a prayer for our healthcare workers and we're gonna pray for, for uh, Gary and Linda and uh, I want you to pray with me at home and I want you to pray for these folks who are in these hospitals and doctor's offices and emergency workers, healthcare workers everywhere who are on the front lines making a difference for us. Let us pray. Gracious God, I pray this day that you will be with Linda Carter, that your hand of healing will continue to be upon her, help her each day, help her get better, bring her complete healing from this disease and her other infirmities. Be with Jerry, give him hope and strength and courage. Gracious God, we pray for those who are doing research to find a cure for COVID virus and a vaccine and a medication. Guide their thoughts, guide their hands, give them wisdom. I thank you for those who work here at Somerville Medical and all our uh, health workers everywhere throughout Somerville, throughout our world, and what they do daily during this time of COVID-19, literally putting their lives at risk, but still coming with courage and compassion to help us. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those families who lost loved ones, not just to this disease, but other things these days. We pray for those who are sick in this hospital and in other places that your healing spirit might come and touch and bring healing. We pray that during this time, whoever we might be, wherever we might be, you might call us together, that we might love our neighbors, that we might all be the hand and the feet, the heart of God. Again, we pray for our healthcare workers this day and the days ahead that you keep them safe and well and give them strength. For we ask this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, the great healer. Amen.